So I'm getting very, very sad. Oh, well, you can even make him on the news. Lockdown, now he's still in place. He will go, he will be visiting friends, he'll do whatever he does, he'll sleep there, he'll come back the next day. Or maybe he'll come back two days later. And um, it's like we were just going around with, in circles. So, uh, and Talaga, I, uh, I believe for moms, we, we get to a point where uh, that's what God has put in us. Amen. And we are just blessed as mothers. Uh, that we, we, we have something in our hearts that's God given. Uh, that you can um, that you can still find the positive team people that you can give give um, give your children time to learn and um, and allow them to make mistakes. But it is difficult. Little ta kero dun bisa so na mga bisa hindi nalupa ng mga sakting ayon. Every day is that will be reminding him. Are you not aware of the rules that is what, what the government of the day is, we, we are on like everyone else? How else do we have to tell him that you're not allowed to go out, you're not allowed to meet friends, but yet you're still going? And then this particular time, uh, throughout the day, he's been calling him and telling him to come home wherever he is. You need to tell his friends, you need to learn to say no and come home. Uh, because he's very, I see him as a very, uh, he doesn't want to, he wants to, he's a, he's a uh, man pleaser. He wants to be that good, good guy, a good person all the time. Uh, and and uh, that's getting the best of him. Uh, I think people abuse that in him, which I believe we, we all have um, anyway. Uh, but this particular time last year when we were still in lockdown, um, we were to the whole day and we were still locked down. And my husband, and for him, with his workplace, with the reputation, with, with whatever it is you can be conscious of. Looking after your household, looking after your family. That the very thing you preach is the very thing you, you do with your life, you do with your family. And that's what we face, that's what we went through. Um, he was calling him, he called him the whole day until that evening. The next time he called him, he, he said that he's on his way home. Now, and when my son responded that day, we were all here, me, my other two children, and him. We could hear his voice. I could tell that he was angry. He, that he, he was at his limit. And um, still on the phone, I heard him shouting. And normally, like for us, whenever our husbands are angry, and when you know that they reach that level of anger, it's like you were there in the danger zone. So we just we just back off. <laughs> Amen. Uh, so that that's what happened that day, that evening. Um, he got angry. He continued to speak on the phone. We, me and my other two children, we just heard him walk into his into my son's room. And where we live, our neighbors are very close to us on our left and on our right as well. And uh, we have our neighbors as well from the front. And uh, so whatever we can, uh, whatever we can, we do in front of the house, we will know. Uh, I mean, the, the neighbors will know. They they can tell because we are so close to each other. That evening, and my son's room happens to be the room that faces the neighbors. Uh, so it's it's the same it's the same way uh, where our front door is. Uh, he went inside his room, and I was wondering what he was going to do. Or what is he talking about? Why is he doing whatever he's doing? But I, I wasn't close to him. I was in our room and just and was just trying to remind myself to stay calm and not, and not to say anything. So And all of a sudden, then I realized that um, his anger was probably getting the best of him. He went into his room, he collected all my son's belongings, his clothes and everything and threw them outside through the window. When I, when I realized that that's what he was doing, just to go there and see, because it, it never occurred or, or come across my mind, I when I saw it, I froze. Um, I didn't know what to do. I, um, I, couldn't even, I couldn't even say a word. I said, I don't know what to do. 